Hi Libby here. Apologies for the delay between my last video and this one. Today's word is outrage. In my last video I mentioned I was at a coffee shop. While I was there, the barista got a customer's order wrong and the customer was very visibly annoyed despite the barista's apologies. The customer was very rude and clearly thought very little of the barista that served him and he made sure everyone around him heard his grievance. It would be accurate to say he was outraged. And that's the word for today. Outrage refers to a strong and intense feeling of anger, shock or indignation that arises in response to a perceived injustice, offence or violation of moral or social standards. It often involves a sense of deep emotional distress and moral outrage at actions, events or situations that are considered deeply wrong or offensive. Outrage can be directed towards a wide range of issues, from individual actions to societal injustices, and it can lead to expressions of protest, condemnation, or calls for action to address the perceived wrongdoing. The word outrage has an interesting etymology that reflects its evolution over time. The term outrage originated from the old French word outrage, which was derived from the Latin word ultragium. In Latin, Ultragium referred to an act of violence, excess or violation that went beyond the bounds of what was considered acceptable or lawful. The word ultragium was formed from ultra, beyond, and the suffix agium, indicating action or condition. As the word evolved from Latin to Old French and then into Middle English, the term outrage came to encompass a broader range of meanings related to acts that were offensive, violent, or morally unacceptable. It referred to actions that provoked a strong emotional reaction, often involving anger, indignation, or outrage. Over time, outrage came to describe not only acts of violence, but also instances of offence, indignity, or violation of social norms. It could refer to personal affronts, insults, or actions that were seen as deeply wrong or morally reprehensible. The term outrage continued to be used in legal contexts as well, describing actions that were considered criminal or deserving of punishment. The etymology of outrage illustrates its historical association with acts that go beyond accepted boundaries and provoke strong emotional reactions. It highlights the word's journey from Latin to Old French to Middle English, with each stage contributing to its nuanced meaning in modern language. When was the last time you were outraged about something? Please consider liking, sharing and subscribing. I went for a run after not having done it for months and what happened afterwards inspired my next word. See you all in my next video.